become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. Today we continue with the Blueprint to Reg Park series, looking at his training prior to winning his first major competitive title, the 1949 Mr. Britain competition. Now in recent videos, I've covered Reg's early bodybuilding workouts, including his training with local leads bodybuilder David Cohen, where he trained with only dumbbells, barbells, and on a wooden floor. But today, we look at his training after returning from the army after serving for two years. So let's have a look at his training and lead up to the 1949 Mr. Britain competition, um, which he won. And this is an early shot of Reg Park um, after winning the Mr. Britain 1949. And you can see his phenomenal uh, side chest here, really displaying the, the future to come for Reg Park with his amazing genetics. Now, as mentioned earlier, Reg Park actually... Um, served for two years in the army and was a physical instructor between the years 1946 and 1948. And while he was there, he would train and his friends would actually send him waiter mags such as muscle power and your physique to keep him up, up to date. But as soon as he got home, uh, it was the 1948 Mr. Universe, which he actually um, went to and, and looked at the competitors, which really kind of sparked um, and got his juices flowing again into bodybuilding. And at that point, after seeing the competitors Steve Reeves and John Grimmick battle it out. He, he decided to make his fortune and his career with bodybuilding. And he even told his friends, I will be Mr. Universe one day. And of course, everyone laughed at him. In the show, he, he remembers Grimmick obviously beating uh, Reeves, but he remembers uh, that that's, in his opinion, Steve Reeves should have won that competition, as I've mentioned before in a previous video, which I talked about the 1948 Mr. Universe. Um, and he believes Reeves should have won out of just sheer physical beauty and he really does believe he was robbed well um, John Grimmick undoubtedly a fantastic poser and gymnast won the competition because of his amazing posing which just brought the house down as shown here in this photo where John Grimmick is standing on the top of the podium here um, winning Mr. Universe 1948 with Steve Reeves looking on now, after returning from the army, Reg Park decided to attend the College of Commerce in Business Administration um, during the day, and he would actually train at night, and he set up in his backyard two poles with a bar on top for chin-ups, and he acquired some, some dumbbells, a barbell, and he created a flat wooden bench based on some plans in the muscle mag, and he also created a pulley machine from his room all the way to the backyard, and he would train in winter below zero temperatures wearing three to four sweatshirts and he remembers these grueling nights but um boy did it pay off because he ended up winning the mr north east britain march 1949 was the date of the competition um, competition and he won his very first victory the mr north east britain as shown on the cover of the may 1949 health and strength magazine that's reg park right after winning mr north east britain so here's a great shot of Reg Park in a relaxed pose after winning the 1949 Mr. Northeast Britain. You can really see his genetic potential. I mean, he's only 20 years of age and already at six foot weighs 93 kilograms after only such a short amount of training. His chest was already 49 and a half inches, waist of 31, arms and calves 16 and a half inches, neck 18 inches and thighs 25 inches. A really phenomenal young Reg Park. So the bodybuilding authorities recognized Reg Park as a real prodigy. And in September 1949, they invited him to compete in the Mr. Britain competition held a month later in October 1949. So Reg Park joined the Henry Atkins Viking Gym and incredibly transformed his physique even further, going from 196 pounds to 226 pounds in a month. Now, what was the routine that he used? We're going to have a look at it. But he basically trained twice a day, six days a week. So here is the routine that Reg Park used to win the Mr. Britain competition. In the morning, he would mainly train the lower body, except some days he would actually add the heavy bench press. But it is no surprise whatsoever. I've stated this again and again, that the 20 rep breathing squat 
along with good a good nutrition of milk, eggs, and, and protein, is going to get you incredible gains. And of course, he gained such an incredible amount of muscular to, in such a short amount of time. He would do 20 rep breathing squats supersetted with pullovers, of course, and follow this with hack squats, calf training, as, as I mentioned earlier, as well as occasionally doing heavy bench presses once or twice a week in the morning. In the afternoon, he would train heavy standing presses, one of his favorite, favorite exercises. Um, he would do heavy curls, bench presses again, barbell and dumbbell rows, basic compound exercises to build his physique into a massive and impressive muscular physique. He would usually only perform six to 10 reps per set. And he also advocated besides just bodybuilding, he would do nothing else and have plenty of rest and lots of good food. So here's an awesome spread of the Mr. Britain competition winner, Reg Park in 1949, Reg Park of Leeds. After winning the competition, of course, Reg Park not only had now won a major national competition, but he was being seen as a future star. And uh, after this, of course, Joe Wader picked him up. But we can read here, picked from as a fine bunch of finalists as we have seen for many a day, Herculean Reg Park is a worthy winner of the title, Mr. Britain. Let's look at his stats. 50 inch chest, incredible. A neck of 18 inches and his arms are catching up at almost 18 inches. His calves as well, having grown 17 inches and his thighs also grew another inch at 26 inches with a weight. As I mentioned earlier, he went up to 226 pounds, but for competition, he uh, ripped down to 214 pounds. Incredible, incredible transformation for Reg Park, who won the Mr. Britain in 1949. Now here is Reg Park after winning the Mr. Britain competition in 1949. Now imagine being 21 years of age, being the champion of your nation, and being handed the trophy by the one and only John Grimmick. I mean, that is pretty, pretty special. And you can see Reg Park is just beaming with happiness there, receiving his trophy from the great John Grimmick. Now, after winning the Mr. Britain, there is a really funny story. Um, as uh, Grimmick starts talking to uh, all the contestants, he looks at uh, the, the runner-up and he goes, you know, you're a very big boy. But then he looks to Park and he goes, you, Man, that guy, he is a very, very big man. And, and Park was just really happy at that comment. Grimmick actually saying he was such a huge, huge bodybuilder. And of course he was because he was being compared now to the American bodybuilders. And um, word spread and actually reached America. And um, Park, who was actually on his way to visit some friends in the US, met up with Joe Wader. And this is one of the very first shots of Reg Park ever taken by um, the Wader uh, group and uh, of course Joe Wader was just at, he thought Reg Park was truly outstanding an amazing physique and of course after that was heavily promoted in the Wader magazines now after winning the Mr. Britain in 1949 of course Reg Park received quite a lot of publicity being featured in several covers of both um, I guess the British and American magazines uh, and no doubt a star, a true star was born. Here was the next, the next big name. It was earlier, it was Grimmick, then it was Reeves, and now it was Park. It was the age, the era of Park. And of course, after this, he went on to win several Mr. Universe titles. I hope you've enjoyed this video, this continuation on the blueprint to Reg Park. I will continue this series further on. If you've enjoyed watching the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't to the Golden Era Bookworm. And thank you for watching. Leave me your comments. Are you enjoying this Reg Park series? Are you enjoying a historical aspect and a look at his, at his transformative bodybuilding routines? I hope you really are. You can see that he's used a 20 rep squat and lots of volume to achieve his amazing physique. Anyway, if you want to learn more about Reg Park and his, his uh, methods of training, you can find some of his courses on my website, goldenerabookworm.wixsite.com forward slash website. If you'd like to support my work, you can via, go via PayPal and donate or become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash goldenerabookworm. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Bye for now. 
Now, for those of you Reg Park fans who'd like to find out more about his training methods, I am starting to upload some very rare booklets from Reg Park, such as how to build bigger arms on my new website, uh, goldenerabookworm.wixsite.com forward slash website. You can pick it up for next to nothing uh, from Reg Park himself. And it, this is not available anywhere else because uh, there are other websites that sell other booklets and books from Reg Park but not these that I've uh, found myself. Um, anyway, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Bye for now.